Hey everybody, this is Dr. Paul Thomas with Plum Health DPC. And on this episode, we're talking to Danielle Sanders, the owner of Soul on Ice in Detroit, a wonderful new bar that's racking up some awesome accolades. Uh, but I want to take it back a bit. You uh, started this bar in Detroit, but you have a history in real estate. I wanted to touch yes, on that Yes, I have a history in real estate. I've been in real estate now for over 20 years. Um, my specialty is property management, mainly condominiums and cooperatives, and high-rises are really what I specialize in. And I've been downtown uh, my entire career. So if you've lived in a high-rise downtown, you probably know me. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you had this inspiration to start a neighborhood bar where you could host some amazing neighborhood conversations with your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Um, can you tell me about that process and that journey to starting a bar post-pandemic? Yes, immediately post-pandemic. Um, my husband was offered an opportunity by someone he knows, a former client, to have a liquor license. Uh, literally, it fell in our lap. We were on the couch one day, and we get a call saying, hey, we have this liquor license. Um, are you guys interested? And we were definitely interested. Unbeknownst to me, while my husband was at Michigan State majoring in business, he thought he wanted to major in um, hospitality. And he oh. had this dream of, hey, I want to open this bar. So he presented it to me. Initially, I was no. It was a definite no with me. But after some conjoling and being married for 20 years, I went along with the scheme. So the scheme has paid off, actually, with him. So we have been very successful. We opened Soul on Ice in December of 2022 um, wow. to great fanfare. Uh, it is a it seats 46 people. Uh, we have seating for 46 rather, but we can hold up to 100 or so. Uh, we have a fantastic patio, and we never knew that we would be in this business 20 years ago. But it has been very uh, good to us, and we've been trying to be good stewards to the community. So as you mentioned, we do host. Um, neighborhood activities to bring the neighborhood together to make sure we're disseminating information out to the yes. communities and providing space. We have neighborhood groups that have our that utilize our space for free at all all the time. But we are a bar. We are open Wednesday through Sunday. Oh. Um, and we want to make sure that we are building better businesses for the city. Yep. Yeah. And and you're on Livernoy, kind of west of Boston Edison, north of Core City. Correct. Okay. Correct. And but you're right on that DeQuinter or not DeQuinter but like the Joe Lewis Greenway that's coming there. So a beautiful rails to trails area. Yes. Can you talk about that neighborhood and what it feels like opening yeah. the bar you have there? Yes, of course. We um, don't live in that area. We don't live far. We live in the University District, actually, which is not oh, far nice. from that area. Kind of near the Avenue of Fashion. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And when people see our place, they really think it's on the Avenue of Fashion. That's, but it, that's why I saw I saw <laughs> Livernoy. I saw this beautiful interior, kind right. of those plush chairs and absolutely. kind of swanky vibe. And I was like, this is the Avenue of Fashion. Absolutely. But it's an oasis in what they call the Midwest Tireman community. And the Midwest, Midwest Tireman community has been some Somewhat neglected over the years. However, my husband and I definitely have the vision of if we build it, they will come. And what we didn't know when we got into the business is that the Joe Louis Greenway was coming that way. Wow. So literally four blocks from us is the Joe Louis Greenway, which they have already built, is in play. You can utilize it to walk, rollerblade, or whatever you want to do in the area. So we are great. We are happy to be in the community. Um, and, and you can get some delicious award-winning wings right after oh, you go yes, running Yes, the Metro Times, right? uh, the community has voted us best wings in Detroit. So I think that's a really big thing when you think about huge wings. deal. There's a lot of wings in Detroit. There's a lot of wings in Detroit. So when you think about that, that's a really huge deal. So that's that's part of it. Uh, we were just recently uh, received a grant from the Bacardi and the NAACP. Wow. And also okay. for what we do. Um, we, we, you were highlighted by a French TV station? Uh, yes. So uh, international uh, press? France too was in there last Friday, which is like similar to PBS here in the United States. Wow. And they were there and did a little segment on what we have going on in this area as well. So we're really about building our community community, connecting the dots. Um, Mayor Duggan had his holiday party there last year. And what, oh really what we told him is, hey, we have the Avenue of Fashion on one end, you have Mexican Town on the other. We're trying to bring those two sides together, and we're the starting point for that. Yeah, you were talking before the interview about there's a lot of people who have been perhaps displaced by mm -hmm. the new bridge, the Gordie Howe Bridge in yes. southwest Detroit, who've kind of moved north to this new neighborhood. Absolutely. They've chosen to stay in the community. The state did give them funds to move places, but they've decided to stay in, stay in Detroit. So a lot of new builds, a lot of resurrection of uh, former homes that hadn't been occupied in a long time. So we really are excited to be there. There, and I believe they're excited that we're there as well. Yeah, I love that. Energy, entrepreneurship, 
you yes. know, rebirth, the story of Detroit, right? The story of Detroit, absolutely. <laughs> and so as a busy entrepreneur, you're balancing a lot of spinning plates and you decided to use our Plum Health service. Can you talk about what that's meant for you and your time? It has meant the world to me. I think the most important thing is the access. Yeah. The access is so easy. Um, emails are returned almost day of. Even on the weekends, uh, Dr. Orlich has returned my emails when I'm feeling ill. During COVID, yeah. during COVID, you guys being open and being available, that was important. Um, my family, we all belong to Plum Health. I have a, um, my son needed to go away to school during COVID. I said, hey, he needs these. Like, he needs this, he needs that. Dr. Orlich and your entire team was really on it. But the access, the cost, the cost is reasonable. I believe for what I receive, you know, I don't want to say um, um, you're being uh, underestimating yourself. Yes. Don't go up on my bill. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> we talk about that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I think what I receive is just the value I can't say enough about. I do have, you know, health care insurance, but I use this to subsidize that because my husband and I both are self-employed and entrepreneurs. And the cost of health insurance outside of a traditional workplace is astronomical. So I utilize this to supplement that um, health insurance. So Yeah. Can you lay that out a little bit more for people who are not familiar? But it sounds like you're buying a plan off the ACA with Correct. like a lower premium, higher deductible, and then using Plum Health to for basically all of your care. And then, you know, mm -hmm. if you have an emergency, at least you're covered on this end. Can you talk about Co that thought Correct. process? Correct. Yes. We have health insurance through the ACA, the Affordable Health Care Act. But with that, um, depending on which plan that you choose, if it's the bronze, silver, or the platinum plan, the expense can get pretty high. And mm. also, to keep those expenses as low, you might have to have a primary doctor, but then you need to, you know, get referrals to see specialists and that web that's very hard to navigate. Indeed. But Plum Health gives me a one-stop shop. If I need to have blood work, I can go out and get blood work for reduced prices, reduced prices on prescriptions. It just works. So the ACA is there for me in case of emergency. But for my everyday needs, Plum Health solves that problem. Amen. Yeah, I think that's exactly how we designed it. We we try to take care of 90% of people's healthcare concerns in our clinic. And then for those 10% of things like car accidents, heart attacks, strokes, that's where you go to the emergency department. So absolutely, I'm so happy to hear that it's working this well for you and your family. Yes. If we've been, I don't know how long we've been with you, but it's been years. That's so. amazing. Yeah. Dr. Orlick, when I talked about having these interviews, she, mm -hmm. she immediately thought of you and thought you were like the perfect type yes, of person. Probably for since you almost started. My son's going to graduate from Morehouse this year. So he's oh been with you since he was in boarding school in Boston. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. I know a lot of families love it for their college age kids, mm -hmm. right? Because they can still text, they can still call their doctor. Correct. And then when they need an annual physical, they can get it done when they're back on break. I'm Absolutely. Sure your son. Yes. And, and it gets done quickly. I don't have to wait three months to get an appointment. I mean, you just can't beat that nowadays. You really can't. Yeah. And then um, in terms of the the uh, like time spent, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you come through, is Dr. Orlick, I'm sure she's able to see you pretty much right away. I, I've only been on, in there on a few occasions when there's more than one person in the waiting room. That's me and someone else. Usually once I come in and I sign in with the receptionist, who's always great, I'm in there. Within less than five minutes, I'm in and I'm being seen. Yeah. And the doctors take their time. So I don't feel like I have this 10 minutes to try to regurgitate everything that's wrong with me. Um, and hopefully I don't forget anything. But the doctors take their time. They mm. speak with you. They hear you out. And they give an excellent physical and anything else that's wrong with you. So I really enjoy that time where I don't feel like I'm under this time restraint. And, you know, you got 10 minutes as if I'm on an assembly line. Amen. And then, you know, with that being said, it's like, like nice you're seeing the same person pretty much every time. Yes. Uh, so she already knows your history and absolutely kind of makes things easier. You don't have to do that intake form every time you come through. No, I do not do the intake form every time I come through because I never know who I'm going to see or something like that. I know who my doctor is and that's important to me in my continuity of care. Amazing. So, and that gives you more time to spend taking care of the real issues in your life, spending time with your husband, Herb, and working on the business and hosting those important conversations. A absolutely. If they say my appointment is at one o'clock, I know my appointment is one and I can do whatever else I need to do for the rest of the day. I do not have a pack, pack lunch to make that happen. Amazing. So we've heard about you and how you love the service, but I also wanted to ask, like, you tell your friends about this and then they're 
they're kind of confused on what this is. So like, what's a, what's a barrier for people to understand what direct primary care is and how Plum Health works? The barrier is they've never heard of it. They've never heard of it, and they really don't know anyone that utilizes it. So every chance I get, whether if it's family or friends, they say, who's your doctor? I'm like, hey, Dr. Orlich, but Plum Health, look it up. Look what they do. You pay a membership fee. I said the membership fee is not a yearly fee. You pay as you go. If you choose to drop out, you can do that. Mm -hmm. So it's about getting the information out there and people even knowing it's available. As I told you, you know, when our pre, pre-talk is I found out about you on the news. And so at that time, I took extra time to research and say, what is this direct care? And why didn't I think of this business sooner? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah. it, it's, it's great. And I think it's just people just really don't know. They haven't heard of it um, because the normal person that just goes to work every day, they ha- they don't know about direct care. Where I've had to kind of step outside the box as being an entrepreneur to say, okay, how do I deal with this healthcare um, piece Indeed. of my life? So we, I let everybody, you have some clients that are there because I've said, this is where you need to go. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, we, we noticed that, you know, there's folks who have insurance through their employer mm-hmm. and they're kind of going along and maybe they hear about us, but there are the folks like you who are entrepreneurs or freelancers like photographers mm-hmm. or, you know, truck drivers or restaurateurs who are right. actively looking for another solution because there is that gap between uninsured, Medicaid, and then like full insurance. And and people are trying to navigate those different challenges. A- absolutely. And I think the more people know, they're more informed, you know, the be- better they can be, um, you know, a- as patients and as consumers um, to what you're providing. Yeah. Uh, but people just, they just don't know. They've never heard of it. And I even tell them, okay, you may have health care with your employer, which you may contribute to. But if you're a single person and it's $100 a month, which you're probably going to spend on whatever you're going to spend it on, mm-hmm. why not spend that $100 to be able to go to see the doctor when you want to, be able to um, get your prescriptions in a timely fashion, be able to get forms filled out in a timely fashion. That fee takes care of itself as far as my time is being respected and getting done what I need to get done. 100%. So you'd mentioned emailing Dr. Orlick, but mm-hmm. do you ever text her and has that allowed you to get enhanced access to her? Absolutely, especially when I suffer from COVID. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, oh when goodness, I suffered from COVID, yes, we were texting frequently, you know, maybe a little paranoia on my half, on my behalf. However, she was very responsive um, with the text messages as well. And, you know, I didn't abuse it, you of know, course. <laughs> of course. But yes, text messaging was definitely part of, of our um, communication. Yeah, we always try to respond like within a couple hours when people text us. And sometimes if you text us late in the evening at like 9 or 10 o'clock, we're going to get back to it in the morning. Absolutely. We always want our patients to feel comfortable reaching out to us any way they feel comfortable, email, text, or calls. Yes. So that's great that you were able to use it when you were sick with COVID. That's a perfect time to use it. That's a perfect time. But email, um, calls, text, you guys cover all the bases, and I think that's what everybody wants, but they don't know it's available. So hopefully through these avenues, they'll know that it's available because it's it's kind of old-style doctoring. Yes, we're and old school doctors using new technology. Using new technology, and I think that's what everybody wants because there's a level of comfort there that I'm a, I'm a patient and you know my name, you know who I am, not yeah. just another number that's, hey, you got 10 minutes to tell me what's wrong. That's amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. Mm-hmm. So my last question would mm-hmm. be, you got this amazing business. Yes. How can people learn more about you and what you do? Uh, okay. And tell us a little bit more about how they can find you. Okay, I we are on social media. That's Soul on Ice, Detroit's Drinking Den. So as you mentioned, the plush furniture, that's why we want you to feel comfortable and stay a while. So you can reach us on uh, our web address. It's soulonicedetroit.com. And we are all, we're on all social media channels as well, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Amazing. I did want to congratulate you, Motor City Match winner, mm-hmm. hosting the mayor for oh, their yes. annual holiday party. Yes. That Those are some big things. So Absolutely. Thank you very much. Congratulations, and I wish you continued success. Thank you. You as well. You're welcome.